<laughs> good morning, Heartbeat Andrea. Good morning, Heartbeat Yvonne. Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Rhonda, Harvey Sean, Harvey Carolyn, good morning. Happy Monday. Hey, Harvey Rachel, good morning. Harvey Carolyn, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Tisha, what's going on? Good morning. Happy Monday morning to all. That's right. Hey, Harvey Delisha. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Troy. Hey, Harvey Danita. Good morning. Hey, Harvey Tanya. Good morning, good morning. I see a new face up there. Good morning to you and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday morning. It's Marvelous Manifestation Time Monday. Oh, you know I love that. Marvelous Manifestation Monday. That means we're going to get some things on the day. Amen. Amen. Well, let's come on and get started. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts by God Wants Me Whole on this Marvelous Manifestation Monday. Amen. So your daily dosage for today is... It's all in how you see it. Somebody say it's all in how I see it. So Numbers 13, 33, and I'm reading out of the King James Version says this. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. The message says this last part like this. Alongside them, we felt like grasshoppers and they looked down on us as if we were grasshoppers. And so in this account, God tells Moses to send them out, which is one from each of the tribes, send them out to scout out the land of Canaan, the land that he's given to the people of Israel. So Moses um, says, you know, find out what's going on over there. Find out if they're strong or weak. Find out if it's few or many. You know, find out if the land is pleasant or, you know, it's harmful. In other words, get all the deets, get all of the details and bring me back the information. So they come back to Moses and Aaron and they're talking like defeat. You know, they say, oh yes, the land of milk and honey, but they're stronger than us. They're, you know, more fortified than us. Caleb interrupts and like, stop that foolishness. I don't see it the way they see it. I believe we can take the land. Let's go take it. And then that's how we get to verse 33. And so what I want you to do is I want you to take on the attitude of Caleb. Caleb was like, that's not how I see it. I don't care how strong they look. I don't care how fortified they are. Caleb was like this. We can do this. He believed in them. He believed in themselves. And so that's what you have to do. You have to believe in yourself no matter what the circumstance looks like. No matter if it looks like there is a giant and that the giant can defeat you. Don't pick your own image from other people or from a title or how people see you or how people want you to be. You You've got to be who God called you to be. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe that you were made in God's own image. You've got to be the person that God, remember God said before you were even in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew who you were. I knew you were going to be great. I knew you were going to be prosperous. I knew you were going to be whole. And so you've got to take on that attitude of Caleb. You remember um, even back with the story, and I love David, how David, you know, he never let people put anything on him. He knew who he was. You know, Saul was the people's choice, but David was God's choice. And you, my friend, you heartbeat nation, you are God's choice. And so it doesn't matter if it looks to you or to someone else that you are qualified. How does it look to you? It's all in how you see it. Amen. And so even with David, when David got ready to fight Goliath, you know, they were like, you this little scrawny little boy. And he was just like, hold up, y'all. Hold up. Don't come at me like that. I'm the same little dude who killed the bear. I'm the same little dude who killed the lion. He was like, don't put that on me. Don't put your mess up on me because I'm not even going to take that. Even when Saul tried to say, 
that he had take what I take, here take, and put on what I put on when I fight. David was like, oh no, that doesn't fit me. I can't do what I do with that on. Why? Because it wasn't tailor made for him. What am I saying to you? It does not matter your size. It does not matter your education. It does not matter your background. It's all in how you see it. Do you believe what God said about you? Do you believe that you can do the impossible because you have all of heaven backing you up? So it's all in how you see it. And I laugh about this because in my mind, I'm taller than I think. I think personally, I think that 5'4 is, you know, average women's height. You know, people were like, Regina, you are short. I don't take that in, in my mind, in my eyes. I see myself as tall. And I know some of you are probably saying 5'4, that's short. It's not to me. So I don't see me as short as other people see me. I see me as tall. I see me as that person that God called me to be because I see what I see about me. It doesn't matter if people were like, no, you're a little below average. You're a little on the short side. I will not accept that because in my mind, I see me as being tall. And so just like David, he had a different image of himself. He, you know, and so you've got to be the same way. You've got to have that image of yourself that God has of you. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. Don't let anyone tell you you don't fit the bill. Don't let anyone tell you you don't qualify. Don't let anyone tell you you don't have the look. It's all in how you see yourself. And so you've got to be confident in who you are. You've got to be confident in your abilities. You've got to be confident in your skills. And so I leave you with this. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as God sees you? Do you or do you see yourself as someone else sees you? That is your daily dosage for today, leaving you with the thought. It's all in how you see it. So how do you see the situation? How do you see yourself? Amen. So think about that on today. It's all in how you see it. What determines whether you make it or not? It's you. Amen. So listen, if you have not subscribed already to the YouTube channel, please do so. You can find all of your dosages there, right there in one place. Follow me on all social media platforms, God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. And if you're out and about today, in your car, wherever, tune in to 96.3 WHUR. I will be giving inspirational moments all day today. I love you guys a bunch, and I will see you tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Remember, this is Marvelous Manifestation Monday, and it's all in how you see it. See you tomorrow.